What up, it's Josh and this is Kyle, we're from Kloss Fitness. Today we're gonna to bring you our full arm workout. This is our workout we're personally doing. Before we jump into that, we're sponsoring this video with our own podcast, the Fit Healthy and Happy Podcast. Check that out. It's on iTunes, Google, Stitcher, all that good stuff. And we're actually gonna be doing a giveaway to celebrate this. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you subscribe. And to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is ask us a question down below. We do a Mailbox Monday episode every Monday where we answer all of your questions. So just comment any question you have about fitness, anything you'd like to ask us. It can be silly, it can be fun, it can be serious. Pop that down below but without further ado let's get into this arm workout and blow out those guns crashing hit a wall right now i need a miracle hurry up now i need a miracle Big arm day, we really like to lead in with the skull crusher superset. If you haven't implemented this, I highly recommend it. It's killer for two reasons. You're getting those skull crushers, you're really getting that stretch. As you can see, we're using the decline bench to really kind of engage your tricep. When your arms are dead straight, you just have gravity pushing down. This way, when we're pulling back, we're already pulling on that tricep, collapsing all the way, coming up big squeeze without locking out that elbow to avoid injury, and then we're right in those presses. Those close grip presses are just rapid. You're just pumping it out, you're gonna get a huge pump, and this is how we like to start our workouts. Number two, we got a killer variation of the curl. So a lot of people just curl out, they grab the heaviest weight they can find, and they just do some of these, right? You just kind of pump it out, that's how it is. But the problem is when you have your elbows back like this, you're robbing yourself of a full rep. I literally cannot get a full contraction here no matter how hard I try. I'm limited. So in theory, you would want your arm fully extended, portion either here or here, but this isn't mimic, you can't do this when you're standing up, it just looks stupid. So when I lay down, I can get the benefit of this, and I can curl up and pass, and really squeeze that arm. And this is how you get a full range of motion curl. So these are gonna kill you, drop the weights. I can curl 60s pretty comfortably. I'm doing 35 for incline hammer curls. So these are no joke. So you want that weight right back, posture yourself up, get a huge squeeze each rep, full range of motion without locking out that elbow, and these will just dominate or massacre your biceps. I don't even know if that's a thing, but it is now. Let's do it. Arm training is all about how much blood you're gonna pump there, the squeeze you're getting. It's not about pulling super heavy and overloading them necessarily. I just like really feeling it out, pumping all the blood, just collapsing that muscle, feeling everything ripping. They're such small little muscles relative to your legs and back, you can absolutely kill them. So that's what we're here to do. So there are a lot of people out there that just don't feel comfortable doing dips. So a variation you can do is just the assisted dip. So grab right here, put it down here, and then this is gonna give you an extra pop and it's just gonna add assistance so that way you can build up to doing a regular dip. That's it, no excuses. The more you push into the band, the more pop you'll get. You can work on locking that tricep out at the top. Get it, buddy. All right, so I like to do three sets of 25 for these. Well, I've been doing three by 20. Today we're upping it, we're upping that intensity. I'm not a huge fan of weighted dips. I do do them from time to time. But for me, I just like getting a lot of reps, getting the pump, getting the squeeze, getting that pop, and I'm transferring that over to my strength. And I find it to be a really nice, fun challenge. <laughs> How many you got, KG? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's do 25. Okay, let's go. Pump it. Six all the way, buddy. <laughs> it's 20. 20. Oh. I'm done. <laughs> 
21's pretty solid. Oh man. No band needed for this guy. Holy. Those are hard. Bosses is back. Two uploads a week. No excuses. Get so, some cardio in, buddy. So we did a forearm upload the other day. Another option is to play tug of war. If your local uh, gym has a dog, get a cow, and just tug her out. She doesn't play around. Come on. All right, guys, so next up we're doing concentration curls. One of my absolute favorite things about this is the fact that there's no momentum, no swinging. You're just getting control down. Three seconds on the way down, curl it up, and just really focus on building those biceps. You got a baseball in there, buddy? I wish there was a softball, man. <laughs> That's a softball. Jeez. I want a basketball. <laughs> so for these, a lot of people when they're doing preacher girls, they're gonna do them like this with everything forward on their elbows. And they're gonna get a lot of swing from their back. Try to minimize that. Best way to do that is a dead arm. So you putting your armpit right on this sucker, really straightening out that arm. You're gonna have to drop the weight a lot. You wanna be careful not to hyperextend it. Um, yeah, it's gonna make it really tough. Big squeezes. There's nobody by my side I need ya, I need ya, I need you right now Yeah, I need you right now So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down I think I'm losing my mind now It's in my head that Dodge Advanced curls, ready? Here we go Do this for stability <laughs> For real, I'm going a little lighter here at the end of the workout. Packing in that muscle. Pushing all the blood. Control negative. Limiting any backswing. Squeezing those abs and glutes for stability. That's it. So what do you think about when you do curls? Honestly, I just really connect my mind to the muscle, as weird as it sounds, and it's not very weird at all, actually. Just literally focus on that squeeze, literally nothing else, just that contraction. That's about it. I hope that you'll be here when I need you the most. That's our full arm workout. We miss doing these full arm workouts. We're feeling pumped up. The arms are just gassed right up from that workout. This is the workout we personally do, and I used to have really skinny arms, you can see on the screen here, and that's why I blew them up. I think my arms are about 19 inches now. I'm pretty tall, so they don't look as big as they are, but they're still pretty big, and the secret here, guys, the themes you're gonna constantly see in this video is have control, have squeeze, do full range of motion. These are things we hold true, and then have a good periodized program, which we gave you today. Make sure to take advantage of that. Hopefully you enjoyed this workout. Uh, there's gonna be a ton more content from us. Uh, we also have a podcast. If you guys would like to consume our content on the way to work, on the way to school, on the way to the gym, anything like that, this is an opportunity to learn. We're breaking down fitness that's complicated, tough, giving you guys little insights to make you better each day. And these are gonna be actionable tips to help you just kind of progress in your fitness journey better than ever before with just listening to our videos. They're usually between, our podcasts, sorry, they're usually between five and 25 minutes. Take advantage of that. First link in the description down below. And then as usual, the normal YouTube spiel, smash that like, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you in the next upload. Peace.